Cochise Raiders. In 1968, a select group was taken from the 173rd Airborne Brigade. They formed elite teams of 8 to 10 men, whose task was to search out the elusive enemy. Members of the 74th Detachment became known as the Cochise Raiders. Near An Lao Valley, these teams began the dangerous task of tracking down the hidden enemy North Vietnamese Army troops of the famous 3rd Yellow Star Division. Uh, I, I don't really see either side being particularly interesting to play in this. It, it seems like it's probably infantry versus infantry. There's nothing wrong with that. It's usually just... There's not a lot going on in those. What does this mean? Team ever ready. I don't, under don't understand what's... Ah, it's the name of the squad. I don't understand what these markers are. Yeah, it's sort of like an artillery marker, but it's not from our... ...strikes. So why am I seeing it? I mean, I would understand if enemy artillery is coming here, but why would I see the enemy artillery markers? So if this is my uh, artillery somehow, why am I firing on my own guys? What, what are these? I have no idea. I think we need to move though. Just to be sure. It doesn't look like that big of a mission. We need to proceed a huge distance. We have 12 turns. Yeah, it's a handful of infantry squads. Run to UEs. Machine gun UEs. M60s. M60s. I don't really see much we can do. We what literally have seven infantry squads we can move. So this isn't gonna be a long mission no matter what happens. We don't have a huge amount of time, so we do need to get into contact with the enemy quite quickly. Not sure how much I should move. But again, I don't have a huge luxury of waiting, so we will have to move fairly quickly. Well, we do have the helicopter, so it's not exactly that we need to maintain control at least on one of them. This can take 14, so we could easily put in an infantry squad and drop them close to the target. I think we probably should do exactly that, but uh, I'll let it go for now. Okay. Maybe we can do a little bit of scouting. I, I would like to at least know, for example, at what stage can we st uh, start expecting enemies? Like, goddamn bunker there. Uh, I think uh, we are much better off if I just 
very sparse most of the commodities. They're not here, they're in that building. They, they have to be. I don't particularly care to attack them. Uh, more or less, this is, uh, I suppose, the helicopter doing a flyby to try to spot things. That's more or less it. There, have, there has to be more targets here. Uh, I don't understand. Why can't I see more troops? No fitness on the HQ. But they don't have anything else here. I still, I, I can probably move and uh, land troops even if I want, even if I want to still. But the troops would not be able to do anything, so they'll be totally open to enemy attacks. So I'm not going to try to do that. Do it on the next turn. Don't have a huge amount of shots here. I'd like to get a little bit closer to that problem. Also, see if we can spot other things here. Can't move anymore. No, it's the. Hopefully, there are no enemies here. We could lose the helicopter. That would be catastrophic. The thing is, that's pretty much the only thing that could possibly be catastrophic, though. Yeah, I'm not going there. No, no. We will be annihilated with the uh, I see? I see the bunker. Don't want to see the bunker. Um, we could order bombardment on it. Not sure what would be the point really. The thing is, if I keep ignoring it, it's not like I can truly ignore it just by doing that. At the very least, my guys will react fire on it, or totally pointlessly. Um, could also take an infantry squad as targets. I think these are napalm. All right, they're they're not. Well, they have cannons and miniguns, so they could probably take down the bunkers as well. I don't want to drop anything on the flags themselves, it could be catastrophic. Mm, I also don't want to use the other Sky Raider necessarily. I mean, this bunker cannot really harm us. And there has to be more infantry waiting somewhere. We'll wait for that. HQ's gone. Uh, 
I'm hoping this will initiate something. I'm not sure what it will initiate. Something. I'm not sure also where I should start landing troops. Yeah, there, there's no way the infantry can get to these locations just by walking to them. We have to land troops closer to them. Oh, Christ. And we have to do it quickly, very quickly. Uh, if I leave a troop or two here, they can definitely take the flags, maybe the three entirely. I will still leave at least three additional ones, so yeah. How far could I get? Somewhere around here, but uh, that seems fairly dangerous if I don't see anything. I also don't see that I have too much of a choice. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's go. We'll stay there. Uh, getting the location of that squad is fairly valuable to me. It'll mean things will go a lot smoother here. There should still be at least a third squad, I would imagine. I want to drop troops here. I guess I, yeah, I can't reload. Right, we need two squads at the very least here anyway. Mm, I don't think we're within their line of sight. That we need. Another HQ unit. Yeah, only shot once, but that's that's enough. North Vietnamese Army HQ, second two. Company three. Uh, the squads are very good though. I think these were supposed to be more experienced squads if you play with the more historically accurate versions. Uh, but still we got a lot out of them. They lost half their team more or less and they're still in great shape uh, expression wise. I don't see why I shouldn't get the Artillery to target, uh, aircraft to target that one. They are, as I said, there aren't going to be great targets for us to really shoot at. And a palm is probably unnecessary though. I'm guessing the artillery markers one and two sort of mean that if these units that we were highlighted here, called the artillery, there's no delay on them. They arrive on the once you end the turn. Uh, and that's the only oddity I see with the artillery we have now. Okay, 
at least the mission is a bit more interesting than I thought. There's no way we can push forward now. And we, immediately after the aircraft does its run, then sure. No. My only real question mark is, do I have to defend the flags? Is he going to make a push on Corbin? Alright, we need to get more troops here. Two squads. Yeah, getting this will be trivial if we can get this. And that's more or less it. Now this is definitely just a scouting... Scouting room. What? What car? Is there no one here? I'm very reluctant to just drop groups here. So, let's see what else I can do. Helicopter cannot land. Okay. Do you see something? Yes. That's a bunker. So that could have been bad. Uh, we might have the machine guns to actually take this down. I don't think I want to really test it out too much. What's the other unit you see? Bunkers, bunkers. to go help the southern group. Take too long for them to do anything otherwise. Okay. Bad, not bad at all, and another bunker revealed. Might be worthwhile to try to attack that one. That's in a nasty place. And definitely should use the nape on one of this. Yeah, it's an immediate delay if we want to use uh, other spotters. This one is 0 0.3. Yeah, we don't need to use fire to fire now. There, it's this area is fairly well protected from uh, fire from that bunker. Still, hopefully, see that one. Can't take this flag as long as the bunker is there. That's that's one of the problems. Uh, I might as well call the a plane with a delay. 
because I can't get a good plane to come there anyway. At the same time, the artillery command on these units is absolutely pathetic, so uh, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. If the, the attack that we would be able to produce would basically be pathetic. I'm not gonna drop any troops here now. Okay. Right. You failed. Can't leave the crew here anymore. They have to die. I, I can't afford to leave the troops basically to defend these. Uh, at least not in any significant number. That's another bunker. Now we're starting to get to the more difficult targets. Another HQ. Third company. Guess we we're gonna go there. Uh, we attack from the rear. It's not that big of a deal. These can be taken care of. The the thing is that we don't have a huge amount of time. And I'd really like to spot the targets I'm dumping artillery on. I know from experience that you can yeah sure you can sort of send your craft there without seeing the target and it'll bomb the correct uh, hexes, but it's rarely all that effective. It just isn't. So you can do it. But more often than not, it would have been better off just waiting for a turn or two extra. You often don't necessarily want to. You feel like you absolutely have to get shit done right now. But that's bad. Quite often, you're not going to get all that much done anyway. Okay, I would say at every black will have at least one unit guarding. At least one. Quite often there's a bunker up there somewhere to new order artillery. Yes, but you're terrible at it. Uh, do we need more troops here? Maybe. I mean, I, I can still ferry troops about a little bit. So we shouldn't be too eager to just drop them wherever. I don't know we need to get rid of that one. Probably the only infantry spot here we still need to worry about. And six 
driven off, we're more or less in the clear, but uh, we can't take on too many infantry squads with the helicopter alone. Just don't have the ammunition for it. Okay, you see two turrets. Piston bunkers. Yeah, however, he's more than capable of wrapping things up here, so... Uh, about you. I'm inclined to leave this here. Yeah, they had a bunker here, but I'm not sure if I killed any infantry squads. Not sure how secure this basically is. So, what else? I think this guy is in deadly danger if he moves some muscle. Might be even if he doesn't. Shit. I was hoping I could sort of rush past this open. No. I mean, there are trees there, so I would have been okay. Ah, but no. Got lazy, got punished. And I still don't. It, it might be a similar situation here. I don't want to chance it. Right. Ooh, that's a risk keeping the bombard at this stage. Can't strictly speaking see this, so might be a bit risky to bombard it, but I want these. I want the napalm to be used now. I, I don't think I can get. Uh, Good use for it otherwise. Uh, maybe target that one with the other. Uh, we'll see. Might be sort of a waste. I want to push closer. Yes. It's not a good place to be. Hello there, my friend. Hmm. I think we might have a better target for one of these guys. This is uh, not a terrible target maybe, but it's also unnecessary target for us to fire. Um, this would not be... I don't actually see it though. I don't think so. Ah, we'll see how this works. Yeah, the bunker is worthless after the bombardment. Minigun is fairly effective. Right. Not a bad bombardment run. Doesn't really matter who's gonna go to finish the job there. That's the important part. Abandoned bunker. Yeah, that went to shit, but uh, 
same time there doesn't seem to be any immediate threat here we need we should not even worry about so I don't know I think we're fairly secure here still gotta make some moves Uh, this squad will never move again, but it might be able to fire at a target or two. Terrible accuracy. Uh, nothing happening here, which is fine. If someone, if something happens here, it's because they go to for the flags. Can't see anything, anything other that would be open to the level. Yeah, I want to scout around here. Are they in a position to shoot? No, but something's gonna need to suppress them a little bit. It's not necessarily the right now. Although, why not now? We might need a couple of turns to uh, fire on them before we can suppress them enough that we can go right next to them. Is the artillery landing somewhere? Not really. It's a bit risky to fire on this, I say. But um, we have a good target to fire at anyway. Hopefully, the planes will go exactly where we are. So, there they Well, if there were the enemies there, there's no, none anymore. Ooh, that's a good one. You retreated into the flames. Classic. Still, who the hell fired at us? That squad. No, it was something up here. Some use out of the spin squad. Ah, <sighs> even if I went to the north, I couldn't do much. I think we're better off trying to get the stragglers. Uh, that way, you know, we won't have unknowns like winning anything here. I just need to be within striking distance of it. Uh, might as well send an aircraft there. We have nothing to lose. Crazy horse is routed, which is fine. These guys are dead. The bunker can shoot at this location too. 
I'm certainly not going to go there to be shot at, so... Sorry, dudes, but at least the bunker has to go. Yeah, that'll help quite a bit. They're moving. Uh, that's interesting because that means other squads might also be still moving to their... Well, I don't know. Whatever targets they're going after. Okay, that basically took them. 562 for us, 11 for the North Vietnamese Army. Not much of a fight, but at the same time, not a huge slog either. Besides the victory, my losses. Yeah. Uh, totally impossible with using infantry only. I suppose a uh, good indication again about what the, what a couple of pieces of artillery and a couple of helicopters can achieve. You would have just gotten killed, died in the mines, gotten killed by bunkers, killed static defenses, or the ambushing troops. But once you have a little bit of a, that extra flying mobility, the static defenses are very, very limited in usefulness. They just don't matter anymore. Not in the same sense. Uh, you have to. You can't just draw a line of defenses anymore somewhere and leave it at that. You have to have a little bit of depth in their defenses or and preferably have something defend all flags. Unless you have some kind of wonderful air coverage somehow. But that, that's expensive. That is very expensive. So it's not really a realistic option. It is more realistic to have some air defenses. So when helicopters start operating, you can react to that, uh, force them out of the map, or maybe be lucky and shut them down, damage them. But they can still operate it to some extent, fire here and there, maybe ferry troops over. So you can just put a stop to it, but they can still do some damage, cause some havoc. So, yeah. It's it's a really a balancing act about how much you want to invest in that though because you don't know beforehand how bad it's gonna be. So uh, infantry in that sense is a fairly good investment. Uh, shoulder or what is it? Man portable anti air missiles, some, something like that. That's uh, that's relatively cheap. It's not super good, but uh, if you have a couple of squads of those, the enemy can't just bury around troops or shoot at the units without with impunity. You can take them down if they try to do that. So it's a it's a fairly cheap insurance against helicopter type activity. Units vehicles might be better in the sense that they have multiple shots, so if they can get to really shoot at a flying target they they'll probably bring it down. However, that's uh, they're also a much easier target for helicopters and other units to attack. So it's not exactly always just a positive. And uh, I'm pretty sure a single anti-air vehicle will be vastly more expensive than uh, a squad or two of anti-air uh, infantry squads. And against helicopters, I'm not sure if there's all that big of a difference in effectiveness or survivability, rather. You can't shoot a long-range missile at infantry, it's not effective. You have to come close, which is exactly what you don't want to do. Or fire long-range machine guns, based machine, uh, maybe some kind of auto cannon. But with vehicles, you can fire the missile that can be easily shot till something like 60 hexes. So yeah, I don't know. I wish we got a good uh, mission where there's a proper air force and anti-air capabilities to sort of balance it out. And I'd like to play on the defensive side on that one. Because I'm, I'm curious is when is it effective 
to react to the air force do you want it to, to sort of give it the room to operate for a term for deciding how you're gonna start attacking it or do you want to sort of start shooting at it uh, as soon as you spot them I I'm not sure because the helicopter mobility is so great that I, I think it might be practically impossible to hit with certain type of weaponry. You basically need some kind of radar guided missile, anti-air missile to shoot at it if you want to shoot at it immediately. If it sort of uh, feels secure enough to operate, you might be able to have a have an easier time to take it down. Maybe distract it with a couple of units first and then uh, go with the anti-air activity. But I don't know. And that's why I would like to see some kind of mission that actually tackles that 